That another one. Come on Lakebird cock. That's one of the lakebirds that is. Another one there, look. number 76 she's not she's not a racer but she's a proper homer days like today when the going gets tough she keeps going she's a very shallow hen she's not my cup of tea to be honest with you she had last week a 280 mile race the week before she had a 250 mile race that she had another 250 mile race and the week before that she had a 180 mile race so four weeks on the trot 180 250 250 and now 321 you mean I've never rated the pigeon but she's shown some true grit and it just goes to show you need pigeons like that in your team for those harder days 321 mile 
the wind on their nose. She's probably not the fastest, there's probably other birds around. I sent two. The other one was a pure cooster hen that has flown really well, but she's not back. Um, that little hen there, she's absolutely flown out. Her wings are dragging on the ground, but she's shown some true grit in coming home. I'm just pleased that she's home. I was saying on quite a few videos, she probably won't make my next year's team, but she probably will now. If I've got a box and a cock spare, she'll probably make the team. I'll give her a few short races next year. I won't push her so hard and then I'll just keep her for the longer races. So she'll have a 120, 150 mile race then maybe stop her for a couple of weeks, carry on training her and then put her into the longer races and see if she can perform a little bit better because she has been pushed hard. Glad she's out. Monday morning, day after the race, usual ritual, been out for a bath, do what they want today. We raced two races yesterday, one from Honiton, 120 mile, and one from Ramsgate, 321. Looks like we've won the one from Ramsgate with this little hen here. Bounce back pretty well. She flew her a little hard out yesterday. Pigeon that I've always said is she's not really my cup of tea. She's very shallow. But every dog has his day. And that was her day. She's a proper homer, but she's not a racer. She's just a good, steady pigeon. So, but she kept going and kept going. Nine hours, 18 minutes on the wing. Velocity of 1,021 yards a minute, I believe. And I've only heard of two birds home on the day. The next one was nearly three hours later. She done well on a good testing day, but a lot of them didn't go this week uh, just to give them a week off. That hen won the three counties combine. So, yeah, very pleased with the team. I haven't got a huge team, we've only got uh, about 30 altogether. Racing two different organizations, so that's not a huge team, I wouldn't have said. I've had bigger teams in the past, only racing one organization. But the birds have really done me proud this year. Smaller numbers are easier to keep. And you can see the individual quirks of each bird and what they like. So we're on again next week, two races next week, Wincanton uh, with the Cornish Combine and Stoney Cross with the three counties. So hopefully we'll be going to both of those. I'm not worried whether it's a headwind or a tailwind. Obviously a tailwind being the longest flyer in the three counties would benefit us. Um, it doesn't always, but. As long as it's a good steady race. The birds come through without too much trouble. That's all I'm worried about.
I like to see my pigeons picking up decent positions when things are against them. You really know they're in form then. Anyway, back to the star of the day. There she is. <laughs> so what I'll do with this pigeon now, she's not, she's, she's a sprint pigeon, but she's not a sprinter. She doesn't sprint. So she's always come home in her own time. Sometimes a few hours after the sprint birds. So what I'll do with this pigeon now, she probably won't go for the rest of the year now, simply because, although she bounced back really well today, I mean, she, yesterday when she came back, her wings was dragging on the floor. Um, so this pigeon probably won't go any more for the rest of the season now. And I'll keep her back. I'll give her one or two of the shorter races next year. Give her a week or two off from racing, not from training, but from racing and then keep her for the longer races again next year. See how she does. Appreciate everybody watching and tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, it doesn't cost anything. Just subscribe and uh, it helps the channel. And I'll catch you all next week.